The city of Tarnopol, a regional center of the Ukraine, was liberated by the Red Army in mid-April. While all sorts of problems, including transport from Russia, delayed the screening of the pictures of this brilliant success, it is with unstinted admiration for the Russian armies that we bring you the story of Tarnopol's deliverance from the Germans. It was troops of Marshal Zhukov's first Ukrainian army who captured this city in southern Poland. The Germans called it the gateway to Germany. Wonder what names they're giving now to towns on the borders of Prussia. For two weeks, fighting went on in the streets and houses of this town, well inside the former Polish border. With the exception of some 2,000 Germans taken prisoner, the garrison of 16,000 men was wiped out. Vicious house-to-house -house combat ensued for days on end. According to a Moscow report, the Germans resorted to strange methods to bolster up the morale of their troops in Tarnopol. Cases full of iron crosses were dropped by parachute. Germans holding out in stone houses transformed into blockhouses are decimated by grenades. We know the name of that soldier on the balcony. It's Private Fedorenko, first man to enter the building and rush the second floor. Each story and room had to be won by stages. Marshal Zhukov's victorious troops complete the occupation of the torn and battered city. Another place laid waste, another name to add to the long list of ruined towns of Europe. Remnants of the German garrison sit in solemn silence, looking out on the rifles of the guards and reflecting on their prospects. The Heron folk look glum. The roads are lined with grey-green columns trudging towards captivity. Russian victory at Tarnopol called forth high praise from the United Nations. The sweeping successes in the North today are nothing short of miraculous. The ring is closing in on Germany. And Prussia, the spawning ground of German militarism, is invasion point number one.